Hi, my name is Irko. I'm the music industry most beloved bow tie wearing mixing engineer. I grew up in Venice, Italy, but I'm in LA now platinumizing records every day. Uh, music literally took me around the world and I've been very fortunate to work with talent as uh, The Weeknd, Snoop, Jay-Z, you name it. I pretty much mixed it. One of the things that are the most important for a speaker is to have it be pristine, as clear, as transparent, as not there as possible, you know, so that you have a true vision again of what is coming out of the speakers, you know? I mix a lot of hip-hop stuff, right? 808s are all over the map on that kind of genre, and not only that, actually, even on pop records. The 808s usually live uh, way deeper in the frequency spectrum, right? It's somewhere between maybe 40, 50 to maybe 150 or something like that. It's in the low end of, of frequencies. And you need to be able to hear those frequencies and distinguish what's 40 versus what's 80, you know, because even though it might be the same note, they're two octaves apart or one octave apart. So, uh, you know, you need to be able to understand what's happening down there so that you can make informed decisions, right? And it's all about that. Mixing is all about decisions that are being made based on your taste, of course, but based on what you're hearing, you know? So that's very important. And the same token can be applicable to the mid-range, hence where the vocal is, arguably, maybe not arguably, the, the queen of, of any song, right? And the same thing goes with the stereo information, knowing what's on the sides versus what's on the mids. Again, tells you um, important information that any mixer or producer can base their decisions upon, you know? So it's very important. MTMs check all these marks. All these boxes are, are like, okay, I can dial in the low end, I can dial, I can know exactly what's happening in the middle and I can know exactly what's happening on the stereo. And that ultimately will produce better results for you. It says it in the name, right? Precision. If you need to have the ability of dialing in exactly what's happening in the stereo field and the low end and the mids for your vocals, for the 808s, for your drums, maybe it's a live set, it doesn't matter. These speakers are applicable and can be used for any genre. This was the moment where we had have the conversation about having or not having a sub in Studio 2. Um, I was, uh, I didn't know if we really needed it, and then we fired up the speakers, we heard them the, after the tuning and all. It was pretty clear that we didn't, because the, the sound wave, the, the sound impact of these speakers is so big that you don't need any of that. I had experience with previous, with other speakers where they had the double cones and there was always like some wonky reflection in the upper, um, uh, in the upper low end. Uh, not with these, but you have all the benefits of having more real estate on the cones by having double, uh, double uh, real estate on there, yeah? And um, so yeah, I'm very happy that um, we don't need subs. What I didn't say about the iLab Precision MTMs is the stereo. The stereo on those things is crazy, you know? Um, the, you don't need to check your mix on 35 sets of speakers when you have one that gives you all the point of perspectives that you need, you know? And being able to have that very wide, um, so like, you know, whenever you have speakers right here, you feel like the stereo kind of comes out of here, more or less. With these guys, it sounds like it's coming from over here. Like it's way, way wider, right? And that gives you, again, another point of perspective on your stereo information uh, that allows you to be a lot more intent-purposed in your choices, in your decisions when mixing. Before I was able to be in a perfectly designed room like this one I you know I started in my dad's basement you know it's not even a basement it's a garage <laughs> terrible acoustics you know concrete walls everywhere it was terrible for acoustics then I started going to you know better studios in my career and that's kind of what happened with Donda also because I went to a studio in Atlanta um, and then from there I, I came here throughout this entire process though obviously it would have saved me so much more time to be able to be in a better environment to make my decisions and oftentimes you know you hear people say well i know my room i i know how to handle it yes that's true you know what you're working with so you can adjust but it's still an adjustment so having the ability of having built in an algorithm that uh, adapts the output of the speaker to the room that's a huge huge benefit you know and nowadays you know it, it doesn't cost the two million dollars to have a place where you can do it you just get the precisions and there's a little bit of a made in Italy touch in this whole scenario right here. You know, everything that you see here has been designed and fabricated and assembled in Italy. That includes me. <laughs> and so uh, having now the speakers that also were designed and built in Italy, that's kind of full circle right there, right? <laughs>